I think uh, largely it's acceleration of changes uh, that had been uh, in in existence before. In, in the same way that the Great Depression and the Keynesian Revolution was not something that started in the 30s, but really has its antecedents before. Uh, so I, I the I think that the 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 crisis greatly accelerated something. There, there had been there has been a, a, a d- debate for, for a long period of time that uh, over what it is that causes fluctuations. Is it is it things on the supply side of the economy or is it things on the demand side of the economy? And I think that um, the one one of the one of the things that was very important was a reminder from the 2008 period that that the demand side of the economy can be very very important. And uh, and that 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 needs to be properly integrated. And the demand side of the economy is one feature that the Keynesian Revolution earlier had uh, had kind of captured how how to do that. So all of those things um, that we call they're part of the Keynesian Revolution uh, really became part of uh, conventional wisdom about macro as a consequence of this. But in terms of a sudden change of thinking in the sense of whole new ideas, uh, that, that we did not see, but nor did we see that in the Great Depression.